So let me guess, you're watching this video because when you charge your scooter overnight and you turn it on in the morning, it says it's fully charged, but as soon as you start riding it, boom, it dies in no time, sometimes even within minutes. Sound familiar? I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct, and real quick, if you haven't already, go grab a free catalog from our website. It's loaded with all of our latest products, discount codes, and a ton of information about our company. Make sure you go to our website, and claim a copy, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out the simple short form that you're seeing on the screen and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm dropping a secret message on the screen that'll show you how to unlock a major discount code for your next set of batteries. So let's dive right into things. This is one of the most common battery issues we hear about and it can leave you stranded when you least expect it. Most of the time, it's not your scooter's fault, it's your batteries. Most scooters use sealed lead acid batteries, which are reliable, but they degrade over time, especially if they're not being maintained properly. All batteries have a certain amount of shelf life to them measured by charge cycles. A charge cycle is when your battery goes from full to empty back to full again, and you get around 300 to 400 cycles per battery before performance starts to drop significantly. If your batteries are old, stored improperly, or you don't charge them after every ride, they start to lose voltage under load. That means they look fine on the charger, but the second you ride, especially uphill or with extra weight, they collapse, and your scooter thinks the battery is dead. Now, depending on the type of scooter you have, the batteries or battery compartments can vary. For example, on a travel-friendly lightweight scooter like a GoGo -Go or a Buzzround, they typically have a small removable battery pack that's easy to swap, but they wear out quicker. Mid-size scooters typically use U1 batteries, which are 12 volt, 35 amp hour batteries. They're the most common type out there. Some of the more heavy duty and off-road capable scooters use larger batteries, but they're all going to use two 12 volt batteries wired in series if they run on sealed lead acid. And if just one cell goes bad, the whole system starts to collapse. We've got in-depth videos showing you how to replace batteries in all of these different types of scooters. Links will be in the description below. Now, when it comes to troubleshooting your batteries, it's pretty easy to do, and we do have a ton of other videos showing you how to do that. But in general, you need to use a voltage meter to test each battery in series and individually. Healthy 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries are gonna have a minimum of 12.7 volts when charged. Anything under 12 volts is very suspect. If you need to replace your batteries, always replace them both as a pair, never one at a time. Also, make sure you test your charger. If it's not topping off properly, you could keep running into the same problem even with brand new batteries. It's also recommended that you regularly charge your batteries to keep them in tip-top shape. Never leave them stored alone without charging them first. It's also best to keep them in room temperature and to never go several weeks without charging them, even if it's just to top them off. Now, if you're still not sure if it's your batteries or if it's something else, check out our website forum, FAQ section, or blog. It's loaded with tons of information. You can also check out our YouTube channel. We make more DIY repair videos than any other dealer in the industry, hands down. Don't forget, we offer lifetime tech support. Now, don't forget, we offer lifetime tech support to existing customers. All right, folks, if you made it this far, here's that secret message on the screen I told you about. All you have to do is send an email to sales at mobilitydirect.com with subject secret code and someone will be in touch with you with an exclusive discount code that you can use towards your next purchase with Mobility Direct. Keep in mind, part of every sale goes towards funding our community donation program. We randomly select people in need that need a mobility device but can't afford them. Sometimes they're homeless, getting around with an old cane, walker, or manual wheelchair, and we surprise them with a brand new mobility device. If you want to be part of that movement, consider shopping at Mobility Direct. If you have any questions that we didn't answer in this video, make sure to leave a comment. We do reply to every single comment within one business day. Thanks so much for watching this video. Until next time, everyone, have a great day.